Welcome back everybody to another Elden Ring How to Cheese Guide. Today we're gonna cheese Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. Actually this encounter is gonna require combat. It's not gonna be difficult, but it's gonna require combat. So, it's not as easy as some of my other guides. Also, I will recommend that you have a ranged weapon for this, or a spell also works. Uh, my recommendation is that you pick up this thing right here. If you also check out my How to Cheese Guide on how to cheese the double tree sentinels, you will be able to pick up this shield, right? Here. It's called the Earth Tree Great Shield plus 10. I also recommend that if you have this, you either need something, you need some way of getting a debuff on yourself for this shield to work in the way you want it to work. So the easiest way of doing that is to pick up this Fire's Deadly Sin. You can pick this up when you have access to the Captain Lindell. I mean, if you don't have access to Lindell, you can't even fight this boss, so <laughs> just go and pick up the Fire's Deadly Sin. It's optional to upgrade this to plus 10. It's not going to be super difficult. Uh, it's not gonna be a super difficult to encounter if you have this at plus four or something, which you can easily do by just going to Lurnia of the Lakes. There's a giant there which has the first four somber stones. Just buy the first four somber stones. If you want to know how to get the other ones, I can just tell you quickly how to do that. The fifth one you can find in Caleb. The sixth one is in the old Altus Tunnel. The seventh one is in the Lindel Sewers. The eighth and ninth one are also in Caleb in the Dragon Maw, whatever that place is. One is on the Beetle, the other one is on. The five guys sitting on a circle on the chairs. The ninth one there. The tenth one, the easiest way to get that is from Moog. You know that place when you farm... Uh, if you've ever seen any farm guide for uh, the Elden Ring, you'll know that there's like some bird things that run around. You shoot them with arrows and they die and you get like 11,000 souls or something for that. Runes. In that place there's also... Uh, the Dragon Somber Stone, what it's called, so you get the 10th one. So that, at this point, you can easily get a plus 10, unless you've used that Somber Stone on some other weapon, but that's fine, as I said, you can do this with an up unupgraded shield, you can do this with a bow, you can do this with anything. So enough babbling, let's, let's just get into how to deal with them. So, we're watching some pre-recorded footage here, uh, and before I go in, of course, I'm gonna cast Fire's Deadly Sin on myself, I'm then gonna cast a summon, you can cast any summon, doesn't matter, this is just a level 1 or level 2 summon, I think. Then let's let him target the summon, and you shoot. If you have a bow, you might ask, what is my strategy then? If you have a bow, whenever it comes in and does this, you just roll away. Just roll away, as long as you stay away from him, this fight is actually easy. But as you can see, the shield is doing essentially all the damage, I'm just gonna skip to... Okay. Maybe, maybe skip a little bit too much. Okay, so here I needed to recast the fires that I in, but just back off and shoot. There's nothing complicated about this boss. He has like one move which can do, where he raises his knee, and when he does that, he's gonna charge towards you. If you just roll back then, and then just, after you roll back, you just keep your distance and shoot at him. He's super duper easy. So yeah, it requires combat, but it's not a difficult encounter at all. If you use ranged, just use ranged. That's my tip. That's how we cheese him. See you next time.